more than one year? Or? Basically, we had them one year real, real bad. We went out and bought a, a propane cannon to keep them away. We had to uh, put the cannon out about every hour or so to get them to move. But uh, one Sunday, I went down there with my two grandkids. They were they were about five and seven, and we went around in the back in the parking lot where the employees park, and we looked around there, and there was a sea of crows. I mean, so many crows, you couldn't hardly see the blacktop. So I told the kids, I said, hold on, here we go. So I just stepped on the car and went through that parking lot, and crows were flying every which way. We turned around, came back, and the kids said, do it again, Grandpa, do it again. <laughs> so we went back through again, and they flew everywhere. And then, you know, shortly after that, we started and moving them. But, you know, a crow is a very smart animal because if you if you take that cannon out and shoot at the same time in the same direction within three days, they will not be scared of that cannon. So you got to turn it and move it to a different area and tune it a different direction, and then they get, they're still scared of it. But after a couple three days, you've got to move it. You got to have a different time, a different place, huh. aim a different direction. So we learned a lot from the crows. I'll tell you, they're no dumb animals. I'll tell you. So, but anyhow, we're hoping they don't come back like they have in the past. We've been fortunate. We I saw them down the river last year, but they didn't come to to Annan. So, but if they do, we're ready. Yeah, you're already. <laughs> we're ready. So, did you ask? Did you ever estimate? No, I think I talked to uh, somebody from the USDA, I believe it was, and they told me that this is the, the third biggest roost that year in the state. And uh, there was one, I think, down by Studentville and one over south of Columbus that were a little bit bigger. Uh, but they haven't been that big since then. So I don't know what brought them in, and I don't know why they haven't came back, but like those numbers, but I'm glad they aren't. So anyway. How do they count them? Do you know? I have no idea. I never ask. I never ask. They came over. We found some dead ones over there, and so I called the, um, you know, the extension office, and they called Columbus and sent a guy over, and they took it, um, and you know, did an autopsy on it, and found out that it just died of a natural death of some kind, and it wasn't anything, you know, that was going to hurt other animals, but. Uh, uh, still don't understand what brought them in in those numbers, so, but anyway, but it was fun to watch them fly. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car? I want to see visual of Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was good. It was, a, we had our, my Explorer that we were in, and it was, it was neat. They, they just loved it. They still talk about the crows in the back, <laughs> out in the employee parking lot, yeah. so, but it was fun, so, so hopefully we won't have to do it again. <laughs> That's Thanks my story. Much. That's a great story. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't have a car? Okay, go ahead. <clears throat>